Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today I am trying to uh, explain something about simple harmonic motion, right? Simple harmonic motion. So what is this simple harmonic motion actually means, right? So there are plenty of examples for us to uh, learn simple harmonic motion. For example, if somebody is moving on a bicycle, right? If, we, if he is moving on a bicycle, right? He has the front shock absorber and the, uh, you know, rear uh, shock absorber, right? When he moves and when he has a kind of a, you know, uh, a kind of an impulse on the you know on the on the tire by the bike uh, by the bump by a bump right he is going to experience some kind of a you know jerk right this jerk how does this jerk stops right the idea of simple harmonic motion comes in something like that comes from like that you know for example if you don't have this shock absorber right think about it you know uh, you go a fast on the road and you have a bump or a, you you have kind of a uh, you know barrier you you strike on it and you know what happens to you right you you you, you are not going to a kind of a, you know uh, rest slowly but rather you're going to have a you know a quick impulse which is going to you know hurt you right so that is where the uh, idea of simple harmonic motion is actually uh, trying try to begin right all right cool so suppose if i have suppose if i have a kind of spring like structure right if i have a spring right suppose if i have a spring and if i have a ball right this ball, you know, if I displace this down, if I displace this down, and I will, if I leave it from there, what is going to happen? You know, this is going to go down and try to come down. It, it comes up and, you know, suddenly it's, it's going to rest there. But the ball is going to go like that and come here. And, you know, this motion is going to continue, right? And, uh, you know, by and large, you have to understand that uh, this, the, the, extension of the string is going to go down but the acceleration you know even if you consider this to be your equilibrium point this is going to be your positive x right you know displacement is in that direction but the acceleration of the x double dot x double dot factor is upwards right for example let us take this string right let's take this string right if you kind of think uh, the string like an elastic string right don't think it is an inelastic string right even though it's it's an ela inelastic string just think about this, right? Let us think this to be an elastic spring. If I have something like that, if I have it like this and it's not hanging, you know, it's just have a kind of a, you know, let's, let me put it like that, right? So otherwise it's going to be a mess. If you have something like this, there's no any extension. This is the natural length of the string, right? So this, uh, this is going to have no extension. But think about this. If I have a kind of a mass, right? If I have a mass tied onto it, right? If I have a mass tied onto it, right? What's actually going to happen is, right? If I tie this mass, let me tie this mass, right, so if I have this uh, mass tied, what is going to happen is actually, you know, earlier this is the position, but now this is going to extend a little bit down, right, so it's going to extend a little bit down, so when it is extending a little bit down, you know, uh, the equilibrium position has been shifted, right, this idea is also very important, but look at this, if I further pull it and if I leave it, it's going to come like that, you know, this is going to be, this is going to be the motion, right. So if it was completely extended, if it is, you know, you have this, if it is completely extended and if I extend it further and leave, you know, it's going to be a kind of a jerk like that, you know, it's going to go like that up and out. You know, this motion is going to continue if there is no AR resistance there, right? Since the AR resistance is, since the AR resistance is there, this is going to stop, right? If there was no AR resistance, this is going to continue like that, you know, uh, uh, avoid this uh, slack of the string, you know, uh, assume that to be a, uh, you know, a... Uh, there's a tension here, right? So this is going to be the uh, entire motion, right? So uh, now, even if you see this, even if you see this string, right? You have the string like that, right? Uh, this, uh, you know, without any masses uh, connected to it. But suppose if I connect the mass, right? The equilibrium position is going to shift, right? So this is going to be the equilibrium position. So let me say this to be the x equal to 0 position, x equal to 0, this is the equilibrium position, right? If I pull this a little bit down, if I pull this a little bit down, right, somewhere around here, and if I leave it, right, what's going to happen to this motion, what's going to happen to this motion, right, from starting from here, the initial velocity u is going to be equal to 0, right? So after that, what is going to happen is, you know, this is going to uh, come here, this is going to come here, and then it's going to go down, you know, this motion is going to continue so this motion is called the simple harmonic motion now listen to this very carefully now this is the direction of positive x let us say positive displacement and let us say this to be the negative displacement when it comes to the positive displacement right it slows down right you know uh, you see that zero right it comes like that and then uh, comes here and you know it slows down you know because he, he, he has to get uh, you know he has to be rest here so from this point onwards he should have a kind of a deacceleration downwards. If you have a deacceleration downwards, the acceleration is upward, right? So acceleration upwards 
Listen to this very carefully. Acceleration upwards, but the displacement from the equilibrium position is on the positive direction, right? If this is positive, now the acceleration is what? Negative downwards, right? So positive upwards, negative downwards. Now we come to a kind of an equation that is x is proportional to, right? Sorry, x double dot is proportional to minus x, but this should be equal to constant, right? x double dot equal to minus omega squared x. What is this minus omega squared? Omega is the angular velocity of this particular string. We will learn about angular velocity maybe in the next video.